At least two cases have been filed against the Kenya National Examination Council over claims of mismanaging the recently released KCP examination results. The petitioners want NEC and the Education Ministry stopped from embarking on Form 1 selection until the cases are heard and determined. The petitions were filed even as the Form 1 selection process started today amid silence from the Education Ministry's top brass. Yes. Four days after the Ministry of Education released results of this year's KCPE exam, the Kenya National Examination Council continues to face allegations of glaring irregularities and errors in the grading of some candidates. We were very much disappointed to what we saw because it was not what we had expected to get each and every one of us. Every single student out here who um, had their results messed up is at the moment depressed, they're devastated, they don't know what to do. I would like to ask the government, are you taxing our marks or what? Because if the ballot papers can be recounted, why not our marks? I repeat, if the ballot papers can be counted, why not our marks? Cabinet Secretary of Education, Prof Professor Machogu, I will um, ask you to please remark our papers. In one of the petitions filed today, Pius Kio, a pupil at the Kitengela International School, through his parent Teddy Mutiso, found fault in the examination results that were released on the 23rd of November, saying they had massive irregularities and questioning the integrity of the marking process. He has argued that the Kitengela International School had a good academic record and has posted exemplary results in previous years, adding that the 2023 results did not fall within in the usual range of the school's performance in the last three years. We don't want favors. We want justice for our children. The true mark, the true reflection of the abilities of our children. It's so hurting when the mother sits and looks at her child, not eat, waking up every morning, crying because she was not given justice. It's so painful. We just want justice. We have a lot of evidence which our lawyer will be able to probably share. Um, the mutilation and the adulteration of the KCP exam results for our pupils and the kids of this country is very worrying. According to the petitioner, the 90-day review period given by NEC will be inconsequential if the Form 1 selection process that kicked off on Monday is let to continue. Kenya National Examination Council, by law, has 90 days to make a decision. So, if the review was done on Friday, the application for appeal, the Examination Council will release the decision around March. Selection started today. These kids will not be among the students who are being considered to be placed on national schools, on schools of their choice. A parent of a candidate from the Green Hill Primary School in Kisi County has also filed a petition demanding a remark. Evelyn Kemuya Omuoyo, through her guardian Joshua Nyansera, expressed dissatisfaction at what they termed as rushed marking of examination papers, which she says has affected the mental health of the pupil. The lawyer for the petitioners, Dantan Omari, wants the matters certified as urgent. An attack on vulnerable children who are defenseless, who cannot raise a voice, then that country has lost its moral compass. A third matter has been filed by an Akuru-based Dr. Magare Gekenyi Benjamin, who has argued that the errors in results were not one-offs but systematic and that they affect every candidate who sat the exam. Lillian Muli, Citizen TV.